Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich to be live with our very special guest. It is David Terry, the CEO of Genesis Metals Corp. How are you doing today, David? I'm good, Rich. Fantastic. Thank you for being here today and thank you for joining us. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Genesis Metals Corp? Uh, well, Genesis Metals Corp is a uh, exploration company. We're listed on the TSXV with the symbol GIS. And we're listed on the OTC uh, QB in the, in the States. Uh, symbol is GGISF. Uh, um, we're, uh, we're focused uh, in Canada and in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt. Our, uh, our primary focus project is called uh, Chevrier. It's in the uh, Shibugamu uh, Chape uh, Mining District. And I guess uh, the company itself is, uh, is part of the Discovery Group here in Vancouver, which is a well-known uh, group of uh, successful exploration companies. Very good. Now, your flagship property is in the Abitibi Green. Abitibi. <laughs> How do you say that? Abitibi. Abitibi, Greenstone yeah. Belt. What is the significance of this area? Well, those are quite old rocks, uh, uh, dominated by volcanic rocks and granitic rocks. Uh, and uh, there's a number of these types of, uh, of formations uh, known around the world, and they're called greenstone belts. And the Abitibi is, is one of the largest known ones in the world. And it's uh, really well known on a worldwide basis for its uh, endowment of, of, of gold and, and base metals. And uh, there's a lot of major mining camps within the Abitibi Greenstone Belt, which, uh, which have uh, you know, fueled the rise of a number of big mining companies. And uh, it's, it's quite well known in the world of mining. Wow. Okay. Sorry for butchering that. Yeah. <laughs> now, it, it spans the Ontario-Quebec uh, uh, border. So sort of half of it, more or less, is in, is in Ontario and the other half is, is in Quebec. Okay, great. Now, we saw gold prices Spike recently. How has that impacted Genesis Metals? Well, the gold price uh, has has moved significantly really since the middle of last year and it's continued on through the early part of this year and uh, it, obviously it brings a lot of interest uh, to, the, to the gold sector. Um, we've seen a lot of the larger gold mining companies uh, increase in price significantly and uh, reach multi-year highs recently and, and uh, often that translates uh, uh, over time into uh, a lot more interest in the junior sector or the exploration uh, sector that we belong to. And so we've seen increased uh, interest in and financing uh, our exploration efforts and that sort of thing. And, uh, and we, you know, we, we, are in a quite a good, uh, good market that way for, uh, for funding and, uh, and interest in our, in our sector. Very good. Now are Genesis metals properties currently operational given the crisis and restrictions this has imposed? We had uh, started a winter drilling program uh, in February that we, uh, we had to suspend for partway through due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and the shutdown of all non-essential business activities in Quebec. Uh, but that has been lifted now and we were able to resume activities in mid-May. And so we, we put out a news release to that effect and we're wrapping up our, our phase one program now. And, uh, and waiting for the, the results of that. And then we'll be starting a, a summer field uh, exploration program and carrying out further drilling as the year goes on. So we, we had a slight delay, but, uh, but it was uh, not, not for very long. Very good. It's good to see that you guys are back on track. Now, what sets Genesis Meta Metals apart from their competitors? Why is Genesis the gold exploration company that investors should be looking at? Well, when you look at a gold exploration company or a junior exploration company of any uh, any focus, uh, the things that you want to look for are are, are the people involved, uh, the projects that they have, uh, the access to capital, which is important, and uh, and I think the Genesis brings all three of those together. And uh, we're obviously focused in a, in an area that has tremendous potential, uh, is well known, it's a safe jurisdiction. So, so that, uh, that really is good. And we also have a, have a resource on the property, which sets us apart from a lot of other companies. So we've got a, a base to work from. Uh, we're exploring in a high potential area and we've got a, a great team to, uh, to do it. That sounds great. And we love gold here at Rich TV Live. Our members love gold. Now, one of the things that we love to look at is share structure. We love tight floats, companies that are not highly dilutive, 
Can you kind of break down to our community and our investor group and community a little bit about your share structure, your issue note standing maybe? Yeah, issue note standing is just under 44 million shares. Wow. Uh, so we're, we're a pretty tight company. We're approximately 50% of the shares are held uh, by institutions and, and insiders of the company. So, uh, you know, half of it's uh, in the public uh, float, but uh, it's a quite a tight share structure and we've raised uh, uh, about five and a half million dollars uh, in the last two financings since December of 2019. So we're, we're financed to do the work that we're planning to do this year and uh, and uh, we've, we're just getting on with it. I love I love your share structure. Anything under 50 million shares for me is really tight. You guys are at 44 and you said that management holds 50% of that? No, a management and a group of institutions. And a group of institutions. Yeah. So yeah. tightly held by management and institutional investors that are, I'm assuming are long-term long -term investors in the company. We try to focus on that, yes. Very good, very good. So if there was one thing you would want shareholders to know about Genesis Metals, what would it be? Well, I think the background of the people involved in the discovery group, uh, that's something that, uh, that they could uh, do more investigating on. Uh, there's a long track record of success and, uh, and if you're investing in these sort of companies, I think you want to really back the, the people and, uh, and, you know, depending on how projects go, uh, you know, there, there's always going to be uh, new projects, but the people are the most important thing. Very good. And what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company? Uh, well, you can go to our website. There's a lot of information on our website uh, and you know, our corporate presentation and that sort of thing and all of our contact numbers. The, uh, the website's www.genesismetalscorp.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is the CEO of Genesis Metals Corp, symbol in Canada on the TSX Venture Exchange, GIS, and the symbol on the OTCQB Exchange in America, GGISF. Thank you so much, David Terry, CEO. Thank you for joining us today, David. Thanks, Rich. Have a great day. Have a great day, and thank you for joining us.